Hey, what's up everyone? Christina, nurse practitioner here. Today we're gonna to talk about how to open up a glass ampule. Um, you wanna make sure before you do your hand hygiene and you verify your six rights, which is right patient, right medication, right dose, right time, right route, and right documentation. Here are two examples of glass ampules and medications that will come in, which is your vitamin K, it helps with blood clotting, and then you have your promethazine, which also helps with nausea and vomiting. So here you have your syringe, and you also have your medication. You have your filter needle. Sometimes it could be filter straw, depending on the manufacturer guidelines. You have your two by two guys, and you have your alcohol prep to clean the neck of the ampule. So here is your ampule. You have your tip, then you have the neck of the ampule, and then you have the body of the medication. And you'll notice on the tip, there's some volume of medication there. Um, that can be forgotten, so you wanna make sure you flick it, and I'll just show you in just a bit how to do that. All right, so grab that alcohol prep. You're gonna clean the neck. Make sure you clean it for 30 seconds and allow it to dry. So while that's drying, you, I also want you to take a look at the medication here on the tip. Um, we're gonna have to flick that. Um, so if you flick it with your finger, you'll notice it drops to the bottom and collects in the body of the ampule. So let's put that down with your non-dominant hand. You are going to grab the two by two and you're gonna snap it away from you. Just an easy snap and there you go. And you dispose of that in the sharps container. Now we have our needle. We're gonna detach the needle. And we're gonna apply the filter needle because we don't want any glass particles, safety for the patient. We're going to remove the cap. And then we are going to hold the ampule with our non-dominant hand, I'm a lefty. So I'm gonna put the needle inside and I'm going to withdraw one mil of medication. And I have some air bubbles in there, so once I got that out, I'm going to adjust and get the air bubbles out. And there we go, we got one mil of medication. Now I'm gonna recap that and dispose of that in the sharps container and then I'm going to attach it a needle. If I'm gonna give it IM, depending on the route, or if I'm going to give it through the IV, I'm going to detach the needle, and then I can attach that to the IV, and we're ready to go. If you find value in this content, be sure to subscribe and smash that like button, and be sure to check out my other videos on how to start an IV. Click on the card, and I'll see you, my friend, on the next one. Take care.